Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going to take a look in on the lasagna bin. So it's been two weeks. So let's see what it's up to. Got some ganats. That's not good. Looks like uh, they're all getting underneath the pumpkin. Kind of dig through here. It's weird how that pumpkin is turning purple. That is very bizarre. Kind of peel back the layers here and, and see how they're doing on their previous feedings. I had mentioned that it's getting to that part of the process where it's really kind of turning more into goulash than lasagna. But that is acceptable. That is, that's what happens. Um, luckily they're, they're eating their tape. Now this is Amazon tape, so it is supposed to be compostable. Uh, so we'll put it back in the corner there and keep an eye on it and see if it's truly working out. Now in this bin we have the red wigglers, the blue worms, and the European night crawlers, and of course our favorite little roly polies here. Not seeing a lot of mites or um, springtails, so that's good. I'm not a big fan. So just kind of digging in here. All of the paper is breaking up. Castings are good. It is, uh, the bottom of it is looking pretty wet though. So let me put my layers back here. If you're new to the channel, I did start this as a way to possibly increase the breeding because the worms do tend to like to get into the, uh, the flutes of the corrugated cardboard. I'm not sure if I think it, it, it really does make breeding go faster, but it is also really easy, which is a good thing. Uh, this is not Amazon, so I'm going to remove any inhabitants here and take that out. And then we'll just kind of dig through here just a little bit to see what's going on. All of the layers are are gone below this level. We don't have any noodles at all. We've got a, par a partial noodle there. And just looking here, it might be <clears throat> getting to be time to think about harvesting this. Now, generally when I harvest this, I do it all at once and uh, just do a light migration. Get the worms out and restart the, the noodles. So I think, you know, that might be where we're at right now. I think maybe another month or so and this bin will be done. So we're going to continue to give them some food here, but not another noodle. Here, let's see if you can see this part here. This is how I, why I started this bin because they do tend to like to snuggle in between the uh, the flutes and uh, seems like an ideal place to deposit a cocoon although looking at it right now I'm not really seeing any cocoons just kind of peeling things back oh there goes a pill bug and kind of moving over you can see that they are attracted to the flutes and the cardboard. And you don't have to shred it or anything. So if you don't have a, um, you know, a shredder or whatever, this is an, you know, an ideal way for you to, or if you don't want to do the shredding, you, this is an ideal way for you to have a bin. Uh, they will eat the cardboard either way. And I'm not seeing that many blue worms. Like I see one right here but I'm not, I'm not seeing a lot of them. And I, I just have to think that, you know, when it's 62 degrees here in the basement, I think they're slowing down and maybe hiding. Hopefully they didn't die. Um, but let's get this thing, um, I'm going to flip this noodle over so maybe they can do, get a little bit more done on that food there. Uh, but that was, you know, it's not really a worm ball, but it's a worm racetrack, which is about par for the course for this kind of bin. 
and um, yeah, I think the lasagna bin is is ready to harvest here. So we should kind of maybe put some of the castings on top of this latest noodle. Let them finish that up over the next time. And then when we come in the next time, then we can uh, do a harvest on this. And I'll show you a light harvest. Uh, if anybody has not seen me do that before, then that will be something to see. So I'm just going to kind of cover that all up. Try and tuck everything in. And I'm going to wet down their top noodles and I'll bring you back. Here in the basement in the winter, everything gets very, very dry. It's down to 40% humidity down here. All right, so that is the covering for the lasagna bin. I'm going to not put any plastic on top of it. It does need to dry out a little bit. But if you like this uh, project here that I have going, I do have a playlist for that that I can put at the end. And if you want to look at the last video, I can put that link above as well. Um, so if you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.